The matches have been so oh, intense. We're muted. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're going? They oh, liars. Fine. Oh, wow. yo, they really trolled us. They really, yo, okay. we're, we're doing this for y'all. Why baited. would you troll us? Please. Uh, Please. Not... You know what? It was a test. It was a test to see if they, we could see chat. And you know what? You baited it. Yes, we can see chat. Okay. But you know what? <laughs> Be respectful. Love the stream. Tweet it out. Love, share, all that good stuff. Because we're here with Pokin at Frosty. And let me tell you, these matches cannot be any more close than I've seen in top eight, period. Let me tell you, oh, Mutator versus Roxo, that was low key a tearjerker. I'm not even gonna joke to you. Um, it was insane. I thought Tater was actually gonna reverse sweep him. I was so sure after that, I gave three, I was like, it's over, there's no way. And like, at that point, mistakes were just made, it's just, Oh man, but along with that, oh my gosh, Tech, Tech, Jukum, Lemon has popped off. I mean, Lemon was popping off, oh, let me tell you. I, I wish Lemon's run was like streamed because he was one round from top eight. His first like top eight at a super major. It yes, would have been insane. Literally. I was so ready because it would be the first Empoleon that wasn't Jukum. Like legit, sure. like, but believe these characters are here and especially, you know, Tech, being in here with Scizor, I'm telling you guys, I, you, I remember. Let me let me just take take us back a little bit. Take us a little, yeah, a, take a little me on bit. Ride. Back. Take me on the ride. All right, right take let, take you for a ride. Look, 2018. I remember when everyone, and I mean everyone. Yo, I will I would say I won't say their names. One of them starts with an S. One of them starts with a K. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They were complete non-believers of Scizor. And honestly, I from day one, day one said Scizor will be a menace with time. And what do you see? He's all over the place now. Tech just makes him work. And who I forget who the Japanese Scizor is. Is it Raw? Uh, yes, that is Raw Raw. But eh. speaking of games right now, players they are ready. Shadow Cat versus Uclase. This is our losers match too, because Shadow got knocked down by Kamal. It was crazy. Yes, I'm telling you, this is how crazy it was to have such like such high caliber players here at Frosty Fostings. It, it can't be any better. And to see that both of these, like, think about it, both of these two, Shadow Cat has placed number one uh, 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 championship player for. Uh, oh, did we get a confirm com we're, confirmation? I think we're going. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry about Actually, that. Actually, you know what? It was kind of crazy. Kamala seed 18th because that's how many people that were so good at this tournament were. Oh my goodness. 18. And that means they played really early in bracket. So yes. Shadow Cat had to run like for like four hours to get up back up here. It was a bloodbath. As soon as you play your round one, you're already fighting a top player or somebody who is just as good. Yeah. Jukum had to play Sundula literally round one. That was the round one. It was so messed up. Dude, let me tell you, Sundula, Sundula's a treasure. I was watching them play. I'm saying, I'm like, hey, yo, like, you really, you really about to hurt somebody like this? But you know what? We're going to get into matches straight out. Brakeson versus Slash. And I will say this right now, you know, because I dabble a little bit in Slash. I feel like this is so dangerous sometimes for Slash. Yes, Slash can be so versatile, especially with having his sharp moves, being able to buff himself. But Brakeson has the ability to shut down certain options for Slash. Oh, that was a quick, quick iron head to get over the side beam. Right now, we just have some patient play coming out from both sides. But the boomerang gonna stop his approach. Ooh. Immediate grab. That was a that was a very quick choice grab right That's there. Kind of disgusting. I like that. Like you place kind of into shield for to try and deal with projectiles, and you shotgun just stopped. He's like, okay, no more. Yeah, you don't, you don't get no synergy here, sir. And the geo Ooh. laser gonna confirm into the flash cannon. Immense amount of damage. And I gotta say, I like them as Magius pick here because it's gonna break the armor. Oh! Oh! What? What's going on? The stream? Oh. They're still playing. I'm looking okay. over there. Okay, okay. The, we do have confirmation that the game is still going on. Only the stream is okay. affected, guys. So don't okay, worry. Okay. All right, we're back. Okay, we're back. We're back. False God. alarm. Hey, it's all good. Genius. And right now, we're on our screens, we have pressure going on with Miss Magius in the background. The back dash getting caught by the Iron Head. You oh. attack up. Oh, God. How did that win? And nice, using the 4Y to catch out the vulnerable frames of the CA. And here comes Uclase, the movement, Ooh. coming out from Shadowcat and putting him in the corner. Yeah, he has full strength. If he's scared, yep, he's going to pop it. He says, you're not going to win here. Now, I'm telling you, this is the ult. It's, oh, it's over. It's over. 
I was about to tell you, that was the situation right there. If Slash is caught slipping without Verse against Brakeson, honestly, if Brakeson has Verse, that is over. That is done. But you know what? Euclid is having a round down, but he's still going to try to make it work. I feel like Metro's got a weird pick here. Just because it's like you kind of have to wait for Brakeson to kind of hit you. But speed down, I feel like, doesn't really bother Brakeson all that much. Brakeson has so many moves that could actually just tick you for, like, if anything... Shadow Cat could just probably take it and be fine. Yeah, you can just stand the back and be like, okay, I'll just projectile spam for like 10 seconds now. And hitting the Oki flame charge, looking at that shield, it's getting kind of low. Oh, yeah, look at attack up though. Maybe get some, you know, cheeky grab, you know, get some little bit of that big damage. And the boomerang catching him mid iron head, four wide. Pressure oh. getting out the light screen. It's going to be a good amount of punish. Look at that damage, look at that rage bar. Already almost back to even. Just take one. Just one, dude. Just one. All right, activating burst. If anything, it could do a lot of chip here. All right, perfect block. Gonna activate Magius. Ma Magius? No. <laughs> Maybe if you want to, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, knocking against it with a uh, burst wave could have actually made it safe and then have a little bit of pressure. Maybe. But, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, what? We're scared a like, little bit, just a tad, just a tad. He was a little bit scared. I was surprised. I'm like, why do you do that? He just helped block. But sometimes that's all you need, you know. And the JYX hard knockdown, and he has to take this pressure because he oh. still has Magic Carp on deck. All right, hard knockdown. Situation. Oh, oh my god, he just did it. He just threw it out there. I think he wanted to do light screen because light screen can actually negate certain projectiles, but 4X, sharp 4X can actually counter pierce. So I don't know how well it would have worked. I'm not sure. And I think it's just whoever went first wins. And it was your place. He just threw it out there. He's like, ah, screw it. <laughs> screw it. Roll the dice, baby. And right now, again, doing so much shield damage to Slash, knowing that it's weak. Oh, 8X. Wait, and nice. Oh. That was a nice interaction using the jump 8Y to actually get pressure on the CA and anti air it. I forget you can avoid that counter so, so much. So it's always so disgusting when I see it with breaks in. Yes. All right, the pressure here on. Oh, this is just kind of bad, actually. There's no synergy on deck. There's full burst breaks in with nine tails up, and you have 100 HP. But you know what? Euclid is not out of it yet. Did he want to reset? All right, it's not often I see uh, six by combos with Slash, but you know, it would have been a first for me. True. I think he just wanted to keep him in duel so he gets more damage and, you know, close that lead a little bit. All right, Pachi, oh. gonna take away all the projectiles for a second, but it's not gonna matter. Firecracker from the Flame Charge, and Shadow Cat is gonna take game one. Yeah, but don't worry, it's a long one because we're at best of five territory. Oh, yes, this is top four, baby. You better believe you're going to have to work for your wins. I wonder, I kind of hope Euclid switches off the Pachirisu magic because I didn't feel like it did anything, you know? It's kind of was there. I think, you know what, for me, I would actually say it's not too bad of a pick, only because, you know, Pachi being a fast support, and along with that, what really makes it tough for... Oh, okay, I know I know <laughs> that I couldn't take it. All right, but while, you know, the stream is being fixed, again, Kachi can actually help out with the scenario that what breaks Slash's shield is how many projectiles Brixen has to her, you know, disposal. That is true. Ooh. I just wonder, like, what would you say it's better than Whimsicott? Whimsicott? I don't know. That's, Whimsicott does actually heal for a certain amount. And it's like it heals. Like, you don't get the iframes, but like, at least you get the healing, which is not terrible. True, true. Reduce some of that chip. All right, hitting with the staggers, gonna get the full charge CA, and flame charge cancels, not getting the last one, probably wanted to reset. I think we just went for the little hop over. I thought for sure like there would be a button press for Shadow Cat, but nothing. Oh my gosh, JX, immediate, catching oh. the jump. Oh, Another jump, JX, this is practically being used over and over again. And he's gonna get the pickup with the JYY. Oh my goodness, catching and not blocking. Dude, so many single hit for conversion. I thought like, these has to be dead now. Just has to be, just kept, no, just single hit, single hit, single hit. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, Iron Head going over to Sidebeam again. That's two times we've seen the interaction. It's not all that, but it can actually put him in shield form stance faster. Ooh. Okay, there we go. I, I like that, like, you guys are trying to stuff these CAs. Like, it wasn't working at first, but he's got the timing back. So he can force that cat to stop CA and just force him to block damage. All you need. That's all you need. All right, Magic Carp, the boyfriend, catching him. Hard knockdown, and we'll get a wall splat from this. Gonna add in that extra 30%. You know, thinking about this, I think, what, Jeff, you breaks it and uh, Sword are, like, the only two pages that can really do attack up besides, like, Krogon, right? Somewhat, somewhat, but nice out of Euclid's being able to use that dash just to make sure that he doesn't have to actually use his long charge CA. 
Hey, okay, that's red. Yep, he notices that his shield is red, and Miss Magic is gonna make their approach. Yeah, but look at how patient he was. Grixen, no burst now after that, and he has full mirror to work with. And look how behind Shokai is right now. Yes, he is, and along with every single hit, uh, hit slash does, it's gonna be added on chip the JX. Ooh. He's all right. But he has to put on this pressure. Nice oh. anti air on the iron head. Whoa, splat. The full damage. Damage. Oh Jesus. my goodness. And he's just in the lead just like that's all he needed. Just one combo. And not only that, he was able oh. to get Miss Magius back, but it doesn't matter. Magikarp, the boyfriend, gonna negate most um most uh, of the hits that are gonna happen. Magic to the clock. It's one hit away for either player. Oh my oh, goodness. No, oh, the scramble! The scramble shield form cancel is gonna actually avoid the CA. You place getting a game back, making it even. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, it is tense from the very beginning. Oh, is that Some double? Double's just, double just chilling in the back. My man said, hey, yo, y'all could have all the chairs, but better believe <laughs> <laughs> He notices now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, Double's got the same patience that Shadow and Euclid both had during that burst wave from each other. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know, dude, when you're loathing like that, I don't think you're gonna make an effort. Ooh. You know, you're just like a tiger, like Snorlax, right? You're just like, yeah, you can do whatever you want, but I'm still better at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, try to get in on the Geo Laser, but not have an effect. And there we do get the confirmation that even though if it's at the mirror edge, it will be able to negate uh, 4X uh, Sharp. Sharp that's pretty, 4X. That's pretty scary, because I think like 4X Sharp is like pretty like useful in like a bunch of matchups, and to lose it kind of sucks. And the Flash Cannon, going to hit out Ooh. the Boomerang, the approach. Ooh, oh, the quick stagger from the homing. Gonna get a quick grab right there. Gonna add in the oh. bump. Woo! You, you know, fake him out a little bit, you know. The faint, as they would call it. And right now, Uclase is making a very good usage out of these JYs. Look at how different the approach is now. Like, he's so much more patient and willing to poke at, like, mid-range than before. And I feel like the first two games, he's, like, always in Shotcut's face. And now are just playing, like, from mid-screen, you know, keeping it safe. And that's something I'm actually kind of surprised by, by the difference of playing from both of these players. Shadowcat actually seems like he's being a little bit more aggressive, especially with these jump-ins that he's been using. But this is going to punish the Flash Cannon, Ooh. going to be stopped by the boyfriend, Magic Carp. All right. He's just jumped in. Okay, then. All right. It happens to the best of us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, okay. That was getting right inside the King Shield there. Ooh, Gonna wait. knock him back in. Damn. Oh, nice. No. Again, getting hit by Boomerang. Especially while you're doing Iron Head, it's gonna make you get a combo. And like like I said before, the Burst Wave gonna make Miss Magia safe. Damn. Like, it's almost the perfect if, you know, you place to start making some work happen fast. He needs to get on the grind. Hard knockdown. And he chose to wake uh, up with something. Minimum wage it is. <laughs> minimum wage. <laughs> Okay. All right, you got it's round. Oh, actually, this is yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's around the piece. This is this is gonna matter. It's gonna choose who's gonna get two games up in this set you and a grab. Oh, you place wants that field fist because he's really behind on meter right now. He did, but right now it's not gonna be Ooh. stopped. Oh my goodness, like I said, these joy wise are hitting. You got the miss though, you little defense, you know, in case he gets hit. Oh, again, another iron head beating Ooh, stuff. Whoa, oh, but the call outs. He's so uh, good. Uh, uh. How do you know? How do you, how do you know? The, the, I mean, I don't know. You see, he's just too good. What's All right. What's to do now? Because back in field, if you play switch, he's going to get meter. He's going to be able to force first. Oh, he's going to draw. Ooh. All right. Hard knockdown. Grab Ooh. the call out again. No. Who and needs he's burst? just accepting all the damage. Yeah, who needs burst if you just win? Just call him out. And right now, I'm not. Oh. oh, my God. Wait, I think that was a side wide that just traded with it. And it's going to combo. All right, this is going to put him at a deficit, but I do believe this burst will give him his own burst. Like, he'll have resources at the very least. He has attack up too, so, you know, he gets a fat damage with one good hit. All right, so right now the burst is running a little bit lower as, as time goes by. Activates burst. Does he activate Magic Carp 2? No, he won't be able to. Okay, uh, he's, still, he's got defense. You know, Rage is still up, so it only takes one good confirm. Oh, God. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, and he's yes, dead. Yes, that's death. And it doesn't matter. He's, he could have chose Burst. He could have chose a different combo. It did not matter. And the only reason why he did that is because he did have Magikarp to layer on top of it. If, when you have Magikarp on you and then you get a hit, it's going to just say, hey, yo, it coming from the top rope is Magikarp. So he's just like, all right, you either one, take this Magikarp, or two, I'm just going to keep doing it. And that's exactly Ooh. what Euclid is doing. We're going to see the character swap. I think you shall kind of down the brakes a little bit. Oh, and gonna go to Darkrai. Okay, and 
And for someone who actually, you know, lost to uh, to you place today, you know, I, I actually I actually would agree with this pick. Hey. And you would think that most likely that um, Darkrai actually doesn't do too well against Slash, but he actually does a pretty nice job. When he does get Nightmare, he actually does have tools that are actually necessary for beating Slash, such as having pretty good Oki, doing very good shield uh, uh, field damage. And when it hurts, I believe it hurts. Oh, yeah. I did that saving grace for you, Clay, so he has one game to work with to get to figure out if things go horribly wrong. But I feel like Clay just looks so good this tournament. He's looking for the redemption from last Frosties. Or he didn't even make top eight. He drowned in pools. Oh, the, the triple four Y. Oh, Ooh. no. Thinking that the third one would come in and Euclid's just waiting it out. Look how much damage that did to the Dark Ride. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That, that clone was extremely oh, no. close. Dude, he grabs every time. Euclid just knows what to do. He's in the head. It and the best part about these grabs is that every single one is going to be an extra 150 what? damage. That's going to be 180. Oh, I tried not to slam the table. I could not believe that. Dude, he's literally just in Shadow Cat's head. There's, there's no getting out. He lives red free. At this point, I just think it's just you place his aggression. Right now, he doesn't. Uh, you, uh, Shadow Cat doesn't seem like he's being flustered, but right now he's just being overpowered. And you place being at set point. Oh talk, my oh goodness. God! Talk to him nice, you place. Talk to him nice, or don't talk, talk to him now. <laughs> like God damn! I cannot believe what I'm witnessing this final game, potentially final game. All right, gonna block the pressure. For luck, no. And oh, again, another no. way. You place is just getting all the answers here. Oh. Forex. Oh, nice. Being able to clone. Oh, oh. and he thought he was going to get a grab there. Is so close. Talk to him nice. Please I don't talk think he's to talking him to him nice. I think he's talking to him dirty. And right oh. now, this is looking like a wash. Oh, my God. This is so insane. You place was like number four before COVID happened. He's looking to look, be not, he's top three number one if, with how he's playing. Okay, Ooh. looking scary. He does have burst of pop. He's gonna. All right, there we go. I'm about to say you're gonna wait for this. Yeah, you have to. You got, you, you got it. Trying to get a straight four X. Gonna get a grab. Oh, no! no. He's still alive. Burst and one rage. Being able to save him. Okay, just one. Just one. You're on the board. You place. Oh just one. No, you no. And the commit. Shadow Cat losing this you place three one Ooh. it already looked like that shadow cat wasn't actually playing so much and stuff usually when you think of shadow cat play it's usually you know that nice control Ooh. type of feel that's what i usually get the vibe from shadow cat yeah. but today it looked like he was playing a little bit different uh you probably saw blood in the water and definitely took advantage of you it play just smelt it like he could see it he just he knew after that like first two games you just hard adapted and you and just couldn't figure it out like it just you just knew yeah. I, I had never seen like three quick grabs in a row like that and like a uh, top four like that. <laughs> Not since like Roxo versus Juke and like Internets. Oh my gosh. But shout outs to Shadow Cat getting uh, fourth place here at Frosty Frostings. Definitely with the, oh my gosh, with the players that are here today, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. Fourth place should not be disappointed. Yeah. We had so many matches that looked like top eight matches. Oh. Like, I think top eight, top eight matches were in literally like, like round, round three, yeah, round, round, two, round two. two, like, like what, round three it was like Jabalabar versus Jukum, and there's still like two more matches before top eight even started. Yo, a match that I was actually interested in was uh, Maverick versus Bulmar. That was a, that was a decidueye ditto, and Bulmar came out on top on that. Yeah, I've caught like a bit of it. I just like saw it back and forth. It was so close. It was like nailed to the wire in the like last match. I'm trying to think of another match that was like crazy to me. Uh, I thought I Tapu versus Lemon was super insanely oh close. Oh my goodness. That, that was another tearjerker. Yeah. Like, and one thing's for sure about Tapu, oh my gosh, you can see the, that the, the emotion coming out from Tapu. Yeah. She's like, not only shaking, but she's like, man, like, I know I could have done better. I know I could have made a better choice. And both of them are just, you know, on the rise when it comes to, you know, who's, who's really leveling up. And there's so many people just leveling up. Yeah. Tech, Tapu, ya boy. These are all players who are really just on the rise coming up. Yeah, I was so sad because I feel like both of them can top eight. But if there was a top eight dude, this is like the hardest one. Yes, yes. I think it's the hardest one we've heard in a really long time. All right, so right oh. now we're going to have winner's finals. Jukum versus Roxo. Now, let me tell you. I should get kind of cracked today. Eh, 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 yo, yo, you know what? Let me just put this out there, all right? All right? Let, let, let me talk to y'all for a second. 
So, so Roxo, Roxo, Roxo really would be. I well, I would say I'm in Roxo's DMs because you know I have the mm -hmm. Discord, I have his phone number, things like that. I'm not trying to you know act like I'm something, but you know I'm just telling you. Mm -hmm. Roxo will really tell me he's washed. Look where he is right now. Just winter side, you know, washed winter side. Yeah, you know, I'm washed. You know, I, I, I you know, when you're washed, you get winter side. You know, yeah. winter side at Frosty Fossing with some of the craziest talent here. You know. But you know, if anything, I told him that you're not washed, you're just rusty. Shake it off, rub some dirt into it if you need to, and get your butt in there. Show me some good poking. I feel like when people say they're washed, it's just that they don't, they don't, they're not coming in with expectations, so you don't have the pressure, which makes them play better because you don't have to worry. And you just do it, you know what I mean? And hold on, were we already having controller problems? Hold on, we gotta put that out the window, sir. Oh no. Oh. All right, all right. The classic Garchomp Juka. <laughs> Garchomp Gar Rock Show versus the Juka Septile. Eight, as old as time, honestly, at this point. Is it really as old as time? I feel like, as like good as these two people are, I feel like this is not something that actually has happened often. But coming from Juka, we actually do have the Septile, and I don't know how often, you know, does Roxo actually understand how to play against some time? Yes, on Dula in his region, right? That's true, true, true. But it was pretty crude. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's kind of clean. But you know what's clean? This combo right here. Oh, yeah. Full reset. And going to add in the bullet seeds. What's the guess? You're going to keep him here. Add in the chip. Add in some more chip. Call him the Snivy, the boys, the Leaf boys. And right now, he cannot get out of this corner. It is his home. Yeah, I think one thing that Jacob really loves to do is like, if he knows his opponent doesn't have first, he'll just spam bullet seed more often than not when they're in the corner. He loves to rack up chip damage. And that's it, something that Septile does. Racking up chip damage, putting you against the corner, especially with the defense debuff, whittling oh. down your shield. Oh, the Jukum Classic, running up to your face with back Y. You do, do you know how to punish it? No. Do you think he's going to cancel? You don't know. The disrespect. <laughs> how you going to do that? Leaf Blade! Oh, oh going to negate that f uh, far fence call coming oh, in. No, the run back. He said, hey, yo, give me give you a 2 p this is what happens when Juco starts feeling himself. It becomes such a downward spiral. It gives him an he's taking that mile. And right here, setting up Bullet Seed. Again, he forgot, tried to take a guess. Garden Ooh. making it all plus. He's stuck there and doing extra damage because of the defense debuff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, he's just in there. Oh, God, it's internet. It's internet. Oh, it's my internet. man's it's trolling. Happening. It's happening. We're trolling? Don't purpose it. Don't let him do it. Don't oh, do it. no. He really had to do it to him. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Would it be Jukum without? Oh, oh you really? You re oh, okay. Look look at him. Look at him. My guy, it's game one. It's game one. Calm yourself down over there, I'm sir. I'm flashbacks to this one set everyone remembers about Jukum Roxo. <laughs> the infamous double perfect. Please don't do it to him. Not but, again. Yeah, you know what? If anything, if anything, I think he just knows that Roxo can be messed with, you know, a little bit mentally. Oh, yeah. We know we know how stern of a, you know, the moxie. The moxie of Roxo. And you know what? He's trying, he's trying to get a crack at it. Don't don't let him get the crack in. You may be a shark, but you know what? Just, just, just take it away, you know? Right. Focus on what you're doing. Think of your game plan. That's what he's doing. He's sitting down, taking a breather, taking a look at what he's going to do. Well, the snipey call? Hold up. Are we running it back? I think we're running it back. You know, I got to say, though, I think Juke, or not Juke, I'm sorry. I think Roxo, when he's under the pressure, he plays a lot better. Oh, really? I think Roxo can, like, he, he's much more willing to take the risk. You know what I'm saying? And that's totally the scariest. When back against the wall, no options. That's when you start making the risky plays that could just win you a set. And right now, he's trying to confirm this set, Ooh. you know. In the beginning, Jukum playing a, oh no, we cannot mistake, make mistakes like that. Not in front of Jukum. Oh god, yeah, he can't do that. And it's not the worst though, you know. You're just only in the corner. True, and, true. And you're going back to the corner. I was about to say, like, <laughs> when you're in the corner versus Sceptile, is that really where you want to be? Oh, oh my gosh, the cancels oh. and the call out. Okay, he said with. Oh my oh. gosh, he is making him make mistakes right now. Is he really in his head this early? Okay, I know I said about the risky plays, but I didn't mean like, you know, don't die if you do it like that, please. All right, Snivy is going to let out all the uh, leaf, leaf storms come out. Going to add in some extra chip, holding him back. All right. I wonder if we'll see the Gengar again. Ooh. Oh, oh, and that was no. a nice CADC to grab. Going to get a full punish here for the grab. Oh, my God. Oh. The read. This man's actually in his head. He's actually in his head. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. This man's on a different level right now. I am sorry. Oh, my. You can't oh, beat no. the kid. You can't beat the kid. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Not this. Not No, not like this. World not like this. For a reason, not like baby. this. Please. Please. This is not 2015. Please. No. <laughs> No!
Come on. Please, please don't. Just, 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 just combo him. Shift him. Do cut something else. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. Do, know, do something else, stream, please. Not for stream. Not for stream. All right, reset. Oh my Woo! God, he really has him it's, guessing. Please, don't, don't let it be perfect. perfect. Another perfect. Don't, don't another put something another, another perfect. Oh my. Woo! Oh, juke him, please. He's just a man. He's just a man. He has the Jordans on. He has the trench coat. Please, you don't have to do this to him. Oh God. Yo, somebody get, please, somebody get Cascoon out of his ears. He's speaking demonic stuff to his ears and it's working. Please, let it go. No, no, don't look at me. Go back to what you're doing. Go back to what you're doing. Please, take away the Cascoon. Do something. Oh my I've goodness. I've never seen abuse like this at all. He might be banned for the event after this. He might be banned. Oh I've never my seen something so heinous yo, in my life. Yo, banned from every Frosty. Like, hey, yo, for malicious behavior, <laughs> I'm, I can't have it no more. T.O., you might have to go over there. Jesus, I have, I am horrified. Because it, it is not often you see a perfect Poké, let alone twice in the same set. But you know what? You know what? If there's anyone who is a fighter, it's Roxo. Roxo literally has the demeanor that could actually hold all the way through. But the thing is, he he's also the type to be like, all right, if you're gonna one up me, I'm gonna one up you back. And that's that's definitely the type he does. Right, we're just running back. Take quick breather. I like it. You know, just you got the time. Use it. Oh my gosh. All right, CADC. Gonna put him in field. Oh he's a little bit closer. He's probably gonna set up leaves here. Yes, he will. Gonna set up the garden. Nice. JX Ooh, there pizza go. cutter. Gonna get the party started. And oh. with the party started, it means that Jukum is going to get a read. He's not going to care. And he knows the more he's not going to care, it's probably going to get in Roxo's head. Roxo, it's just so, it's being read like a book. I feel like I'm in middle school again, like reading cats. Oh my god, he tried oh. to go for it. Oh, All right, Clash. Clash. That actually gets Jukum burst. That's actually really scary if he uses oh, it. Oh, and nice. JX going to get a full conversion here. Wall splat. All the damage reset. Ooh. No, he was wants it. Look Half your that. life, gone. Look at how much damage this is the time. This is the time to run it back right now. Oh my gosh, nice. Dig being able to go through the uh, poison mist. Come on, right. Roxo. We want to see you get on board. We want to go all the way. We want five games. And he tried to do the instant yeah. tiger knee. Oh, he dropped it. Yes. All right. All right. We're still alive. Trying to push away back. Oh, he's reacting. He doesn't want it. He knows oh. it's max distance. Oh, no. no. Oh, and he was doing so well to avoid the Giga Drains, but it still worked. Oh. Roxo trying to get past the irritation that is Jukum, but it's looking kind of slim. But you know what? I don't believe Roxo is out until that that health bar says zero. You gotta just you can't gotta play Jukum in his own game. You, oh you can't play the respect gosh. game against Jukum. You gotta disrespect. And this is where you see it start to falter when you know for sure when you're missing those Okies in your timings. All right, first gonna push him back. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And oh. that is gonna punish. Yes. There All you right, go. There you go. You we are now it. ahead in damage. We have the life lead and we got Frogadier on deck. We can make things happen right here. Please, please, please. I want to see him on the board. I don't want to see a sweep. Now I win its finals. No, not like, not like this. Oh, this oh. is going to be good. No, oh. you dropped the combo. It's okay. Wait. Fully charged. Tornado. Can Wait. you grab this? Yeah, I think he could have. I don't know. All right, fully charged. Oh, oh, no. no. That's not you grab. It's okay. We're still in the life lead. Setting up garden. Oh my oh. god, he tried to jump, I think. Okay. It's a scale, it's scaled, scaled, it's fine, you know. You don't have to take that much damage. You're in rage. You can, you can definitely kill off a combo or two. Oh All right. god. Dude. Oh my goodness, get away from the corner. Nice. Oh. All right, fully charged. Gonna chase him down. That that's that field fan actually denied burst from Jukum, so lead potentially for Roxo. No! Oh yes! We're wait. okay! Oh, uh, oh that's no! That's gonna be death! It is. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I thought oh. he had on me, so I thought oh, I ran on the board. But, you know, good effort. Good effort. But you know what? Roxo's not out yet. Uh, like, it's it's crazy to think that, but he's not out yet. You know, he's going to be sent what down to, to losers. Huh? What? This is this is, this is this was winner's finals, yeah, my no. guy. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say you can't, you believe Roxo's out early? No, I'm trying he's to say that Roxo's not out yet. Dude, <laughs> he's a fighter. Uh, he's a fighter. I believe, but you have to fight your place. That, you know, actually classic matchup. That's a, yes, area. that actually is a classic, I believe, tri-state matchup. Yes. I'm kind of terrified for Roxo that right now. No, no, I'm no, pretty no. sure you place has the head-to-head -head right now, right? I mean, hey, like it used to be. It could change. It could True. change. I mean, it's been two years, you know. It, fresh start. New year. Yeah, new year. Twenty twenty-two. We we could see something different. All right, I'm gonna believe, but it's really hard. I would say you place was kind of putting it on the clinic against Shadow Cat. But yo, guys, let let me know in the chat, cause again, new year. Now I'm not gonna say new me, but I'm gonna say new players, new choices. I think. Roxo can do it. Roxo can do it versus you place. If it's anything, these these are two people who have, you know, the demeanor. To, to, to just be like, all right, fine. 
I mean, it looks like we got some consensus. Wonder Chef saying, Brox, you want Brox to do it for the boomers? Do it for the boomers? Yeah, All right. Do it for the boomers. <laughs> for the old people. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I got to be honest, I kind of feel like I got to favor you, Clay, after like what I saw in the top four so far. Like, it's hard to argue after what that work on Shadow Cat. When you think about Shadow Cat, it's like, kind of like considered number two, right? Like one or two, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, all right, so look, this is, this is why I believe. Okay. Like, 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 like how we were, or, yeah, let me talk like, through. Talk, talk, talk to you. All right, look, look. All right, so look, you, Clays, when it comes to decision making, I would say he's more of a a, 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 a wait, wait out or or put out. You know, when it's like, all right, if I don't feel like I'm not going to do anything now, I'll wait maybe like one, two, three, count him on his fingers, me. do something. Roxo, Roxo's a gunner. You're gonna, by the time you wait, it's already happened to you. But is it the issue? He's gotta show off, and you click something, ooh, you're looking nice, it's time for me to put out. It's a, hey man, only these two can show me what's gonna happen, and you know what? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get it started right here. All right, we'll see. I feel like game one's gotta really say about how this is gonna go. I feel like a lot of it hits on the game one. All right, so, Roxo, going with this is Magic's Fist. If anything, you know, I feel like that's his favorite support and his best support that he uses the best. I think this biggest is probably just good against Sage Test in general, just because it breaks so much of the shield, right? Oh my goodness, Ooh. the lingering 4Y gonna get the party started. Like I said, half of your life gone! Damn, that is how you want to start a set after that last set. You get that confidence booming. Yes, exactly that. All right, changing shield form. Nice, fully charged. And gonna get a hard knock down here, grab. Oh, he thought he was gonna grab him. But you know what? He's done for. Like I said, well, before you even think what's gonna happen, it's already done to you. He says, I'm ain't no shadow cat. <laughs> I ain't no shadow cat. Oh, dang, you didn't have to put him out like that. All right. Sorry, shadow cat, if you're listening. <laughs> oh, oh, just. The, yo, the mix-up right there, he was like, oh, oh, oh my goodness, I didn't know he going under? Go like under? Yeah, I didn't know either. Well, today I learned. All right, Pocket Sand, gonna catch him, gritting the side wide. Fully charged? Nope. He waited. Like I said, that's that's Euclid. He's gonna get that little weight. I didn't expect that to clip, actually. I thought he was just laying in front of him. All right, Nine Tails? Yes, gonna hold him into the corner. All right, we can do things here. He can't really press a button so oh, much. What? Oh, nice. Gonna get advantage. Oh, no. And the disrespect on the plus frames, and but dropping out of the combo. He didn't want to get that wall. He just didn't want to get that wall damage. All right, we're gonna take the active frames. This time, we get the grab. And gonna get added a little bit of wall splat damage there. Gonna find the approach. Definitely a lot nicer than taking that sand tomb, though. Think, oh, ooh. King Shield's gonna get an attack debuff here. No, no synergy yet for Roxo. So. Oh, the possible. bait. Oh, but the, Wait, what? Oh my gosh, it's just a scramble. Ah. Oh my goodness, What's but it's happening? Roxo coming out on top with the combo. Everyone's just dropping everything. I don't know who to cheer for now. It's just one hit away. I don't know, man, but right now. Oh, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Ooh. What are you doing? All right, you got it. You're on top eight. You know what you're doing. Oh. Look, look, it's a re look, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I, there's a reason why I'm commentating over here and he's over there in top eight. Oh my, Roxo. Like I told you, it, it's gonna happen to you already. Roxo not even giving you Clace the glance. Oh, now he looks his way. The eye contact. Roxo, just flipping the switch, honestly. This looks so different now. See, it, see, look. If anything, there's a, uh, if you think of a switch for Roxo, there's an on off, but above the on, there's an extra on. That's where Roxo is right the now. The overheat. The overheat, yes. High the immediate oh, Roxo. Woo! The confidence in this grab. Oh my goodness. All right, the approach. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Again, the flip over. Oh no. There you go, though. Right. There's the punish that time. All right, and getting all, all four of those judge frames. Nice. Some good damage right there, too. You know, That's the power of getting those judge frames and oh. the punish. From the uh, victory slash. Oh, oh. wait, what? But oh. because the, wait, I don't think it's invulnerable to laser though. Is it? I don't know. Is it, I mean, laser is a projectile, but I don't believe la uh, Geo Laser is a an S tier projectile. I don't think it's so. not. It's been a minute. You, yeah, it's been a minute. All right, art punish? No. A good opening round so far for me. Place got a pretty big lead. Nice, moving himself out of the way, oh, knowing shoot. that slash is going to be higher when he does the third hit charge. Oh. oh. Snivy call, I see your Snivy and I raid you a magic. Oh, good clip though. Oh, not good, good stuff with the mix. That's the mix right there. Oh, that's the mix. And oh, he, he has burst on decks if he wants to use it. Oh, I just want to. Don't don't save it for next. Don't save it for next major, major rock. So don't he, let it be. I think he wants to force oh. it out of you, place. So that way it's not in the next round. Oh my god. Please I'm, stop. Oh. Ah. He should use the burst. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I understand. It. After getting that command grab, I understand why holding it would be so good. I, I, don't, I don't blame him, but let's be honest, we all love to kill our burst if we can. 
It feels so good when you go to like second round, they force him to use first and you still have it. Hey man, when you're trying to guarantee a win condition, I understand. But you know what? Finding a way in. Oh, that's Ooh. a wall flat. Bring him back. Oh no, we're just gonna bring him all the way over there. Mid screen, gonna chase him down to the back corner. Yeah, Rocks are looking to shut the doubters right now. He says, I'm about to take the set you up if I'm gonna play like this. Run cancel? Ooh. Nice punish! Using the run running stance CA. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful damage. So I need to tell you, play turn back on his controller right now, because Rocks are just playing the single player. Oh, it's a single player game? Oh, that's what we're saying right now? When his turn? What was his turn? You get to play. Yeah. You got one hit that round, that was it. Fully charged. Oh, gonna get just oh out of there. JX just too high. Gonna get punished with victory slash. Oh, oh wait, I gotta get it punished. You will. Yes. All four just frames. Uh oh, uh, music to my ears. Sounded like Ooh. a chime. Look at that wall spot too. He's already half health after that. Uh no hit. Oh, quick CA. Gonna send them into field phase. Next choice. Yep. Oh. Fully charged. So it's gonna catch him regardless if he canceled. It's so weird because I feel like both of them are just picking up big leads back and forth like they're twitching to who's winning every round. And right now we have a little bit of patience. Neutral going on. Nice. Catching him going back. Oh my oh, gosh. No. The hang time JY. All right. Has him in the corner. Knows he needs to use burst. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's going to do damage. damage. Oh what? my what god. That was nearly a burst attack. What the hell? That was balanced. That's skill diff right there. Perfect block. Oh my gosh. He tried to delay it. What do we do? No burst attack though. Just stuck in the corner, guy. Wait for the I, He tried to! He tried it! And that's gonna kill! Oh my goodness. Roxo trying to claw his way back. I'm he, telling you. He it's wants like, to run back. He wants that run back. He sees it. He sees it. No oh. one gets the three on Roxo and lives to tell the tale, is what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> no, no one's gonna disrespect Roxo and not think I'm clawing back. Yeah. Yeah, and this is such a good adaption for the first game set, though. This is looking pretty clean. If anything, I just think it's, rock, like I said, Roxo is a rock. He will keep going. And you know what? Uclay's having a little bit of a slower start is what's probably doing it. Yeah, I agree. Like, Roxo, you know, may have slow start in the first match, but as soon as he gets back against the wall, he snapped it. He turned it on. <laughs> that extra on for Roxo. Oh, nice. Going through the victory slash. Thought he was going to grab there. Has him in the corner. Oh, okay. And nice hit confirmed coming out of you, Clay's being able to go into the Fury Cutter. Clay's just been a bit farther back now, actually, for the first two games. And that was a beautiful back dash Ooh. plus frames. And oh. nice calling out the victory slash again. Oh my gosh, that's a good combo. Wait, can you do it all about to say? I thought that was going to wall spot to get a double release X. I was going to say that would have been cool. Oh. oh, nice. And like I said, what, I, what did I say? Euclid's waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, Euclid just wants to out of that corner. He knows he gets to play in that corner. He's probably going to die. He's played so much farther back and patient than the first two games. You'd like to see it. And nice. That's trying to take the approach. Oh. All right, he has burst on deck. Are you, you going to use it? No, you He doesn't need it. Need it. Ruxo's saying, I don't need to use burst. I'll wait for you to kill yourself. Damn, that was pretty clean punish for Roxa. Good read. All right. I just, I'm not sure what you players can do differently because I feel like he's doing a good job of playing like patient, but every time Roxa gets close, he just kind of panics a little bit. It, just a little bit. Like, and it's the, and, and I can understand when you have guard chomp in front of your face, it's a risk. Uh, uh, Slash has low HP. So again, when you get hit by guard chomp, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we well use your force on the nine tails. Not terrible, but you're stuck in the corner now. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. Uh, but all the PSP doesn't let you get that full one though. Yeah, but at least it was allowing him to get a be uh, a buff, and it's gonna get a speed buff off of this grab. Oh, oh my god, oh the call out! It's like the first oh. time we see Roxo in the corner like this entire set. I feel like it's been and, a while. And over 300 damage. Oh, the call, bro! Excuse me. Just do it with your chest, with oh, your no. entire chest. Oh wait, you can oh, punch that. Goodness. Why do you do that? I don't know. But no matter, he's alive. Now he's oh my goodness, Roxo with these callouts, I cannot take it. The, the, what? Or we're, oh we're no! What is happening? Wait, what? HP? He's alive. Please. I'm so scared. Did he oh, get him? He can punish us with earthquake. Oh what? He did an earthquake. He could have put some double cancel earthquake to punish it, but he didn't. Dude, I thought you asked you play swift that grab punish. I thought it was over. I thought Roxo was gonna kill him. Oh, I'm having goodness. like a heart attack on stream. I thought it was stream. done. I thought it was Same. over. I was like, 3L, we're going next. 
But that's kind of scary. You don't want to drop that round because you Clay's going to claw back now. But you know what? You Clay's going to probably ride the momentum of this. That's going to be up. Oh, that's He's a good way to punish. start it. Dude, um, this is gonna be bad. Stuck in the corner. What's the mix? Oh my god! Big rip. Set up. All right, nine tails. Getting, getting out of, get, get out of it. Guaranteed. Oh no! Whoa! No, he went again. Oh, we got him. Oh, he's scaring the ever missing like everything out of me. I am oh. stressed that I even play. Dude, are, are, <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, this is about to be perfect. Oh my goodness! That, all right, it's all right. We that, got two games up to one. I'm not saying I'm rooting for anyone, but you could. Oh my god, are you praying to the heavens right now? Are you I'm about to pray. I need to pray after I saw that, because that only a gift from God gave him that comeback. Brock's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, questioning God up there, like, hey, yo, why are you doing this to me? Make a deal with the devil, and then God comes up, shows up at your door? Oh, God, no, please, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. But you know what? <laughs> if anyone's got it, God can't have a hand in this. It has to be Rock or you, Clay. So it has to be one of these two players here. Yeah, what's a god to a god who can't say protagonist? <laughs> what's a god who's ignorant to that god? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, good start from you, Clay, though. It's looking pretty good. Uh, uh, um. Dude. I don't see the just frames on those fury cutters, though. I'm just saying. But, but look at all that synergy meter up there. Look at that. Look at yes. that big diff. Cancel in. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. I got the double cancel. I thought he probably could have punished it. Oh, oh my god, dude. They're so good. They're so good. How do they do? They're both so good. Cancels on top of cancels on top of cancels. You can't get enough of the CADC. Damn. Look at that. Like, just that entire range game because so much momentum. Like, I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I feel like a different set. And he tried to release X there. He's trying to do big boy callouts, but right now he's starting to. I think he knows that he's probably letting it slip through his fingers. It can't. Is it possible that he's probably, like, that is, is really slipping? Is it really slipping? I wonder if that, that last... That J... What? Oh, there you go. That's a how complete he JX over that JY was ridiculous. The full oh, charge... Oh, God, get away with the rock zone. No! I wonder if that last round from that last game is in his head now. It has to be. You know you let it slip through your fingers, and you probably had an easy call. Yeah, but... Dropped the round, got the perfect, and just lost another round. It's, a, it's starting to look like a slippery soap right now. And we are in Frosty. It's ice on the ground right now. Don't fall on your butt. Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh god. But you know what? He, I feel like Roxo had the right idea. If you you can actually stop the last hit of that on the X change if you hit it early. But you have to hit it very early. Oh! That's gonna be a hit. That's a good one. And that's gonna be rage damage. This is gonna be a lot. God. Look at that. He still got burst on you, Clay. He still got support, but he's damaged. He's got the lead now. Alright, perfect block. Yes. Oh no. no! Okay, yes. Okay, he's not dead. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to get That's a punish, that's a punish, that's a punish. We're going to, oh no, what? not. Not, Snivy knocked him back and he tried that's to do a complete card. We're going to get again. five. Oh my God. Reverse God. sweep. We're on the table, it's on the table. Reverse no, sweep, we're on the table. No, 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 don't let it happen. It's in your hands. You can take it. You can take it back. I know, if anything, Roxo is hungry. He, I know he's hungry. I know he wants to get it back. He wants to take all that bottle up hurt everything and put it back in Jukum's face. But he has to get through and you place first. You gotta fortify the mental. You can't let that one game to gain your head. Can't let this one get your head. It's a first to one situation. You let it all go. Let it all on go. On the table right now. It's over and done with. Game five. God, I am, uh, I am so sick. I don't even know what to say now. Like, I don't even want to talk. I just want to let match speak for itself. Yes, I will. Might as well, because right now, like I said, Roxos in the driver's seat. Cancels, yes. Euclid just waiting his turn and is gonna get an opportunity. Hard knockdown. Setting up missed. Gonna get the extra trip with Gyro Ball, the call out. Look at all that. I, I'm just like, I'm sorry, I, I'm just like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's so close right now. Dude, it's it, coming from these two players. It's close to being neck and neck. They're trying to get that extra damage in. Fully charged. Oh, oh no. no. Dude, they got that meter on Euclid's side. It's so close. Can you punish that? Oh no. no. I can't. Wait, wait. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Oh, he punched that though. That one I actually thought he could have stone edge, but I was not. I'm not sure. Dude, it's so close. Just one straight hit is all he needs. Oh no, the slip. It's slipping. I see it slipping. It's so close. Dude, I'm feeling the hype. I'm getting hyped for my boy Euclid. I'm believing. So, oh, now you're getting hype? It was, at first, I'm, he was I'm just. Hyped. <laughs> I'm like full meter right now. All right, just throwing out sidewise. Just trying to get him out of there so that way he can get a little bit of advantage. It is just looking so good for your place right now. Like they're both like even right now, but you got that round lead. Another call out release X. If they work, they work fine. 
Oh, early burst. An early burst, indeed. Ninetales going to push him to the corner. Matter of fact, I would just hold this position. Wait out the timer. Yes, and that's exactly what Roxas is going to do. Wait down that uh, burst timer just to make sure. Oh, oh the call out. Oh, my gosh. What is going Wait, on? Get him. And that's going to be a hit. It is. All right. This is going to do a good amount of damage. It's not going to be too crazy. Roxo does have burst on deck. But you have to be careful because if you don't kill him fast, you play's going to build a lot of meter for that last round. Oh, that is definitely a possibility. So you have to be quick. The, oh, all good. right. Good start. Good start. You play's trying to do a call out of his own, but Roxo is not having it. Oh, no. You have to, you have to be careful. Burst. You have to burst here. Please. Please do it for me. Do it for, oh, do it for Poulton. Oh, my God. The cojones on this man. I swear. That's a good position. You might be able to force out of round three without having to burst. Fully charge. Okay. Okay. All right, back up. Yes. There's a good space for you place, though. Gotta get that attack up. It's gonna be a lot of damage if he hits. All right, nice. Woo! All right, I guess, you know, he... I guess he saved his burst for the next round, not the next major, but it's okay. All right. Oh, dude, that stressed me. I thought it was looking... It was looking scary. There. Look at all that meter. Damn. All I love right. some of that. All right, Ms. Ma Maggi is going to make his approach. Fully charged. Yes, guaranteed. Going to take away a lot of that meter. Oh, that's a good shield break, though. Oh, oh my gosh, it's going to do so much. Did, will he reset? He oh, my gosh, it doesn't need to. He's still here. This is so scary right now. Brock just mixing it up like crazy. Oh, and he knows. He knows. It's going to be a lot. Oh, that's to be it. That, that, that's to be that, it. That, that, I think he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. With a non-scaling on the wall, I'm pretty sure this is a perfect round. Roxo, Roxo, will it kill? And it's will! Over. No reverse sweep. No reverse sweep here. We hold strong. And you know what? It's gonna be Jukum versus Roxo grand Ooh. finals. Oh my goodness! I I was so scared for Roxo after that ground drop. I was dude, like, there's no way. Dude, dude, like if I could if I could do a visual representation of looking at Roxo, it was. Uh, the, the, it's, 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 it's there. It's, it's, I, could, I could just pick it up. I could, I'm right there. Uh, I think people are working on the casket in the background. Because it, 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 it was looking real good for a second there. Yeah, if people bet it on you, Clays. Uh, uh, icy. Um. <laughs> I thought it was like after like the rock shot, that was really like, that rough game. And then it was like the next one you just stole. I was like, oh, sh this is looking real bad. This is looking real grim. Oh my goodness, that game was hurting my chest. You know what really hurts my chest? I won't even lie to you, because I know how much we make a joke about how Garchomp players won't hold their burst. But I'm sorry, Roxo is really playing with fire here. Every time he's like, he's like, oh, advantage? Will you press? It just, and, and realize when people are scared, when they're backed into a corner, you do not know what they'll do. But Roxo taking a chance on that and committing. He's doing it with his chest yeah. and it worked out for him. Chest out, guns out. Oh my gosh! My, if, if, if speaking of chess, my chest hurts from just all this play, all this scariness. Like I can't. People not bursting. I can't handle. Yeah, my heartbeat's going crazy right now because I was like so on my edge on that last thing because I was like it just took one mix up for me to like, how, like swing that round. But you know what? I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. But can I get a let's go poking? Let's go poking. Oh, you love to hear it. You love to see it. We got a lot of crowd shouting today. It was so good. I miss the crowd so much, Dude, man. Dude, so do I. I. I miss, I miss all you guys. I miss all. I miss you. I miss y'all at home. I miss the crowd. I miss you. I miss you too. I wish I went to CEO so I could see you, but I couldn't go. Sadly, I didn't even go to CEO. Oh because, no. Dude, the entrances were wild. As soon as like, they they had they had literally capped day one. Damn. Day one. That's. Un they pushed up the cap. Day two capped. All right, but you know what? Do oh, okay. And Polion, he wanted to see a little bit different. If what? anything, he's just like, all right, I had a little bit of too much fun with Sceptile. We're now going to have a little bit of a showcase with Empoleon. I bet you that's exactly what he's thinking. He's like, oh, I got to hold back. You know, like, here's the handicap. If you, <laughs> if you really want the Sceptile one back, you'll reset the bracket. And right now, I think if anything, what uh, Roxo's thinking is like, oh, I'm going to make you switch. I'm going to make you give me what I oh, want. You know he wants it. Oh, you know he wants to switch. And if anything, I think that's what will make him satisfied. But it, he won't be satisfied unless it's a complete dub. Fully Ooh. charged. Yes. And nice and high for the pickup. Going to put him closer to the wall. Again, the run back. I bet you will do it again. I Ooh. told you. I told you. If anything, that was like, all right, we're going to get it started with the reads. If you're going to do me like this, I'm going to treat you the same way. You, Keep that same energy. Yeah, yeah Jukin really likes the anti-air. On, like, the corner with Empoleon. I feel like he does it so much that people are just ready for it nowadays. 
All right, and hitting him, not being too close for that neutral Y. Ninetales gonna knock him back. It's not gonna deal with Ice Beam. It is an S tier projectile. Getting out, JX. Ooh, good flip. And gonna get a hard knockdown. Hydro Cannon gonna add in some good chip wall. Oh no, but he falls a little bit too early. Oh, he tried to jump out. Yeah, so I get the corner with shield down and all the chip damage. He's gonna suck. Ooh, okay. There's something that could happen here. Is he gonna? Is he gonna uh, stone edge? Oh, eight wide to take away a little bit of that, but okay, it works. Uh, I, I, that's why he's up there, right? Yeah, that's why he's up there. Oh, I didn't even realize you could use that to avoid it. I thought maybe like break or something, but no. Just hit one. All right. Homing. I mean, not homing. Uh, T8. You know. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? Cancel? Nice. Oh, did Ooh. he? Man, he realized that anti here so much. I respect it. It's pretty good. And right now, we're just having another scramble all over the place. Ooh, the whole, what? what? The clean back dash on the sand tomb. How do you, how do you know? How do you know? We're just we're just using the whole screen for a moment. Let's get a, let's get a nice view of Blue Dome for a second, all right? Oh, this is my favorite part about the matchup. It's like you just fly around the screen sometimes. It's great. All right. And forcing the burst back out of Jukum. What are we going to do here? Oh, the no. call out? Oh, wait, 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 can you not combo off that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. It's try to keep him out. That's it. That's it. Oh, All the right. Sun. The easiest hit confirm you can ever do. If anyone that would ever miss Dragon Claw to burst, I'm going to need to know what's going on with your controller because it should not work. But Roxo, that is a game one in his favor. And you know what? You know what? That's how it all starts. Oh, yes, it if is. If anything, he knows that, all right, we not only did we get a game in a board, we made sure that we, we got a little bit of disrespect in there. Th those, those multiple six wise, I know he I know he remembers. I know that's in the back of Roxo's mind. Like, yeah, I did it to him. Okay. I did it to him. I can do it too. He definitely carried that momentum from the last set, that's for sure. <laughs> but, all right, so the question is, will Roxo actually give the, the, the full sweep and more? I actually, that would be crazy. Oh, yeah, that would be a now. story. Hey, uh, oh. All right, defense debuff. I mean, I'm hoping that we'll see a reset. I want to see a, you know, a long term, you know what I'm saying? Oh, better believe I want to see some good poking, baby. Ooh, oh. the conversion is clean. Gonna knock him all the way to the wall, back against the corner, fully charged. You can't jump this, it's a whole tornado. And he's actually, did he do that on purpose to put him in the cor in the corner? I think so. Look at that. You're about to get switched again. Is this a wall splat? No, it's not. I always think it's going to wall splat. It's going to get two release exits. That would be the day. I kind of used to it too, just because of the PTSD of Garchomp. I was like, it's always a wall splat all the time. Ooh, Ooh. dig to avoid the Aqua Jet. That was amazing. And Latios, oh my, what? tried to jump back. Well, that kind of sucks. He's only got one hit, I guess. Yes, but even so, he knows he really can't take oh, advantage oh. of it because Miss Matthew is just chasing him down. Well, don't worry, oh, that ice that's beam a hit. punish. Oh, God. It took one ice beam. That's all you needed to get back in the game. The call out on the drill. Okay, oh. all right. You got those. Oh, no, that's pretty nice. I hope this doesn't become a set full of reads. I'm telling you. That I, these will, if anything, these will be the two players that will really commit to reads back to back just to disrespect yeah, the I other. I was about to say, like, when did Duke not try to just do random reads? I guess his opponent. Oh, man. Oh, oh, did you just try to dash up, grab me? Excuse me. Sir, sir, don't disrespect me like this. Oh, is this closer to an unblockable? Oh, I think it is, oh. but it won't get too much damage off of it. Drill oh. peg. Oh, my God. Dude. Hard knockdown again. Oh, the retreating uh, steel wing. That's actually really nice. Going to get your nice little chip damage oh. in and then escape uh, from the corner. That's when I beat that. I didn't realize that was how that worked. I thought we clashed. All right, Wyvatel yeah. Vital making an appearance. That could be a punish. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, he got Sergi Lock, too. That could be big. Yes, that is big, especially when he has a full Ooh. stick of butter. It's not Combo. even wearing off. He could potentially die on the next mix-up. Oh, the reset. Wait, the whole combo? Oh, he just, did. He just knew it was going to kill? I thought he was going to be like... Octomel, okay. I think he had like one HP left. I thought he was going to be like one HP next mix. But no, he just died. Like, I really expected that whole combo just to be like, okay, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna do this, it's gonna do that. Are you gonna reset? Are you gonna wall splat? No, I'm going to kill. All right. You know you're, st you made this character, not me. I I'm just a dark ride player. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was crazy. But that dash up grab, that was like, what the hell? That was disrespect. That, disrespect. Uh, that, yeah, when you're, when you get, when your Jukum's in front of your face, you know you're gonna get this type of play. You know you're, you know he's gonna make it a spectacle. Oh yeah, you know he's gonna do something so disrespectful that if it lands, you go with him set. All right, going back. Caught, catching the back dash, no conversion though. And again, another call out on the grabs. Eventually something's gonna give. 
Oh yeah, I really like the, the anti air too, just to cover it more options in case he jumps. Try to dive in. Ooh, another back to back quick CA. And oh my god, I, let me tell you, a pulley on CA is actually pretty good. Being actually like pretty fast. Yeah. This combo like this? What? Yeah, I mean, okay. I, look at the combos. I'm telling you, Apollyon such an amazing character. I, oh, okay, well, hold on. let me pull that back before people start killing me. I, I he's a he's cool good. character to look at. Let me correct you. I think he's good. I think he's good. I think he's good too. I think he's good, honestly. I will say, I like that Jukub's like taking Rocha out of the corner more. He doesn't like use trying to use drill peck to try and you know get shield pressure. He just takes him out and says, "Fuck it, we're just gonna play the random game." Oh, that is. Oh Ooh, no! What? Caught my man whiffing. Whiffing. Damn, I'm, that is unfortunate if you're Roxa. But you still get the meter off of Jukum. But hold on, let me tell you, if there's anything that's like Jukum's play, if he has, it, and this is literally Jukum, this is this is info for you guys. If Jukum has high HP, you know he doesn't have that much, uh, he has a whole bunch of HP, he will do something disrespectful to you. Oh, that is a promise. Absolutely. It would not be Jukum if he did it. Y exactly. But the nice, perfect block on the cut. All right, gonna be able to jump cancel, avoid this. He's gonna give him a little bit of space as well. Oh, oh no! no. He oh, and he gets synergy lock. That's synergy lock plus defense debuff is gonna do a lot of chip. Oh my goodness. Look at all that damage. Oh, you gotta guess! He Look. guessed right, and he's in the corner! I was gonna hurt too. Look at all that. Ooh. And he can still. Oh! All right, what are you gonna do here? Grab? Oh. The, oh. A game of CA chicken, and you know what? The bird is obviously gonna be the one to win. Yeah, I was trying to put that grab in like last long enough to like go fast with Vegas. And fully charged homing, trying to find a choice. Are you gonna take the damage Ooh. or are you gonna take your synergy being taken away? But Jukum finding his way back and that's plus! Oh god! The, the, what? Okay, he's got burst. Yo, I cannot. Please. There's so much damage. Just one mix up! Burst! One mix up! That is a kill right there. That is guaranteed a punish. That was a very scary. Like eight Y. My th that was, a two Y was what what scared me. When you get the two hitting part of a uh, uh, steel wing, it actually becomes plus two. And he cho Roxo chose to do two Y while having burst. Please, you're you're. I can only take so much. I mean, that's how I felt. But I saw Jacob decide. He's like, you know what? I'll just eight Y on his shield. I'm sure I won't get punished. Oh my God! Oh. The four and dash got through the Santum. I can't. It's not good. Rocks of defense down in the corner. He's gonna get reset on. And look at all that resource. Oh, does he go for the reset? Full chip going all the way back. That's gonna oh, do a whip no. punish on the 5Y. That's not good. That's real bad. And defense debuff, yep. It's and he's still here! Nine tails? Yes. Oh. Get me out. Back away. This is back! Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. The real back on the Forex. That's a hard one to come back from because that defense debuff was not going away for a long time. It, it just was took one not. hit. And as long as you keep getting hit, that debuff is going to stay a little bit longer as much as it goes. Oh, no. Don't, 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 switch. don't switch. Don't switch. Don't switch. Don't switch. I was saying, Jukum's corner pressure changed up significantly after that first game. Like, yeah. no more 8Ys in the corner. It's a lot more fade backs into, like, you know, Aqua Jet in. And more uh, Rock Smash on Chip. Now, Rock, so listen to me. You can't hear me, but listen to me mentally, all right? Good, 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 good. Now, look, all I want you to do is just stay, stay here for a little bit. Yes, yes. Don't, don't look his way. No, look at the screen. Look at what you're doing, all right? Gengar. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need a reminder to that, okay? We don't need a reminder. Oh, we don't need a reminder. What do you mean? Is this Gengar good? Shh, shh. Wait, I mean, it's not as good as mine. But anyway, let's oh, just go on to the oh, match. Money match. Money match. All right, all right, all right. Look, look, look. Going back to the match. Going back to the match, okay? Look. So. I think he stayed with the uh, same support. Oh, no, he picked Farfetch. Right, I love right. Farfetch. It's right. my favorite support. So one thing about this is that, one, it's going to be able to, I would say he's going to use it for trading or just making sure that he can at least get guaranteed punishes or try to stop Aqua Jack yeah. cancels, which it can do. If Fire Jones is in general really good for really has a lot of reach and go through most, I think he runs pretty fast too. To reach fast so he can close up a lot of field phase against like these Aqua. Well, I got Ice Beams. That's the word I'm looking for. And a nice, perfect block. Gonna get full damage? Yes, going to take it all. Ooh, that's all right. some good damage. Nice. Sidewide being too slow, coming out of Empoleon. Oh, he tried to catch the approach. Look at that. that all right, defense debuff. Oh, okay. Wait. Putting him in a cage. The baby cage? Oh, God. Wait, he's, this is still Oki, though. Oh, that's a lot of chip as well. But catching him, jumping. There's going to be a single guess. Charge, that's going to be too Oki. Oh, he really thought for a second. I we, can't believe he did that. 
It was the fact that he probably whiffed Farfetch, so he's like, all right, well, maybe there's going to be some time to where he can actually do something. But Roxo taking his opportunity there. Oh, that's going to combo. He's going to get his shift here. Yeah, I I am really impressed with the adapt for Roxo right now. Just, uh, just like he splits like an extra bits of patience to make sure Juke can whiff something. All right. And like I said, Roxo in the driver's seat. Once it happens, Ooh. it can't stop. But Juke oh, is one of the people that can stop it. Hit a roadblock on that turn. Oh, God. Oh, that was a weird conversion there. Getting a little bit of the forward hit of that. Or I should say back hit. Oh, the oh my gosh, sir. Oh, look at that. And we're still here. Oh, yes, we are. Honestly, Rox is still looking really good. Forces the burst out of Jukum. But you know what? you got to be able to accept this. <gasps> Knowing that he's going to be using the burst for this round. Look at all this trip damage that it's... Oh, yes, the cancel. Like I said, it's going to be very effective. That's not going to do too much, unfortunately, but he's going to buy a lot of time against Jukum. And whittling down that burst meter right there is wh what he wanted. Oh, All right, first so call. Cool. He can perfect block this and get out of the situation if he wants. No, okay. he chooses to stay there. Take the chip. It's kind of scary. He just takes one good read right now. Oh, oh and, punish, and it's going to be a kill. All right, Roxo getting it back, putting it back together. We do not falter under the weight. That was a crazy waterfall from Jukum. I wonder if he thought his shield would break, because his shield was getting kind of low on Roxo's side. Even so, if there was a moment where Roxo did think his shield was going to break, he would have popped. I hope, I hope he would have popped, popped first. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I don't. <sighs> all right. All right. So, I see. We're looking, what are we looking at? This is game five. Grand finals. Mm -hmm. Here at Frosty. Right now we have a whiff punish coming out from Juke and putting him in the corner. What's gonna be the guess? Ooh, that was a single hit. Punish. Right. Good start from Jukum. You wanna keep guessing right. Do not run rocks to get this free set. And that's gonna be crazy amount of damage to the oh. call out. Alright, this is gonna be get the party started. Putting him in the corner. Plus. JX! Oh no! Oh god, Juke's getting a lot that of pressure. That was pretty high! There's so much pressure for Juke. Roxo is kinda like losing this game, so starts to around the rest of it away. Oh, oh, on my plus frame, sir? Dude, I cannot do with Roxo's callouts. I can't. It's so scary right now. Catching though. the jump. I will command grab here. Oh. It would have worked. See, look, I could be a card drop player. True. All right, so knowing Jukum's conversions, will this kill? It's going to be close. It's oh, he's dead. There's no way. Oh, oh no. All right, all right, all right. See, look, I, you, you're God scaring me. Roxo's scaring me. All of you guys are scaring me. It's OK. He's got one mix up and left in the tank. What's it going to be? I guess right. There it is. All right, he's so close to synergy. And, oh, oh. I got a hard knockdown. All right, oh. Jukum feeling the pressure. No, he's gonna activate burst. No, no, and he finishes off with the burst attack just to give a statement. Watch the animation, because better believe it's there. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. Roxo is so close to right back that round. But if you're Jukum, you're really feeling good because if anything, I would say it was really slipping out of Jukum's hands yeah. for a second, but that one mistake is what's going to put him back in the lead. Jukum yeah. being at match point here at Frosty. He just needs one more. Roxo has got to work really hard on these two rounds. He wants a chance at that subtile again. All right, but this is going to trade. Nice for Roxo, not so good. And Ooh. that's actually almost, I think it's kind of almost guaranteed, but fully charged CA going to deal with the release X. Oh, uh, this really sucks. I feel like Roxo really wanted to keep Duel. Oh, but you know, going to get real cute instead. Oh, and not getting it short enough to get the punish on the JX. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I, Starshop and Deal kind of had a little bit of a rough time. He really wants that dual face damage. The class, that's a punish? Oh, there yes. you go. There you go. All right, make him guess. Nice. It's looking right. good. Full conversion. And he's still here. He's doing such a great job getting that little angle to make sure that he not only stays there, but he actually can keep uh, getting a good amount of damage. Yep. The ball's not going to hit, which is good. And look how fast Jukum got out of the corner. He said, oh, what? Back to back. Ooh. What? Oh, and that's unfortunately Dig not having all the hits there. Yeah, I got hit like a little bit. Just all right. Grab. There you go. All right. One mix up. One mix up. Oh, that gets right. More like two mix-ups. Oh, no. I think we're going to see one more mix. It's going to decide who wins this tournament. Oh, my God. Reset. Are you? Oh, dude, every time he does that, I get scared that it's going to be a reset. Oh, God. Dude, Roxo needs this round. Woo! Good dodge. All right. Okay. Eight, eight seconds left. I know what you do here, but you got to make a count if you're Roxo. We got to take oh! a little chip. Did you do it? Oh, no. my gosh. Okay. Wait, he's got the chip lead, though. Wait, can he punish with this? 
I don't oh, know. Oh, oh my god! Oh wait! Two seconds oh, left! Second. Oh, no, he One second left! Oh, oh no! Unfortunate! And that is gonna be it. Oh, Juka like being your oh, no. Frosty Fossings champion for Poker Tournament DX. A moment, a heartbreaker. It was looking like it was a possibility, but Roxo oh, faltering. Oh, oh, like Chance from the crowd saying, let's go Pokemon. Let's Feeling go the Pokemon. Hype. It's Pokemon, baby. That was, oh, that was such a good grand final set, but I really wanted to see the reset. I really wanted. I wanted to see. I wanted to hear the story of Roxo the Savage clawing back from such a disrespectful match coming from Jukum just to not only get out for the reset, but then making it all the way to the very peaking point that is winning the tournament. Yeah. But it was so close. I respect the jump attempt from Roxo to try to avoid getting hit by like Ice Beep or something that would chip a lot. But Juku just has such a good read. The anti air, or not anti air, whatever the Razor Wind is. Oh, uh, that, that was 8 wide. That was 8 wide. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for some reason, that drill pack was 8 wide. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. But like the read to like know Roxo would jump basically just won that set. That was, uh, Drill Pick is actually 8A. It's one of oh, his 8A. specials. Oh, 8A. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It's one of his specials. But yes, yeah, so it's a good read to know that Roxy would jump. But it was still smart by Roxy, right? Like, both those players are showing knowledge of not only yes. their pump, but the game. Oh, Woo. but it's been fun. This was, oh my gosh, it was such a tough tournament. Yes. Like, if you guys were here, it was full of family, friends, and not only that, some great poking. Yeah. And let me tell you, it was amazing to watch. I'm glad. Yeah, I was glad to be here. Let's go through our top eight real quick while yes, we're still let's, on the let's, let, Yes, let's bring it up. Let's go ahead and look at our top eight. Because again, you like not even top eight, but I hope I wish you guys could have seen uh, uh, before top eight. It was too many yeah. matches being missed. Sixty-two entrants. A bunch of them top players. I think like we had like a seat for everyone. It, it was, was like literally 26. a majority of top players. I'm not even joking. People who've played the game long okay. term, short term, and made great results. Yeah. Okay. So we got first place Jukum. First place Jukum. Roxo. You place. You place. Shadow Cat. Uh, third place. Shadow Cat fourth. Then Tater and Tech at fifth. I am surprised Tater. We Listen to, to that right quick. Tech. Uh. Uh. Tech Mutator. Uh. Uh. Kamal. Wise. All. All people in top eight. And it was. And it's like Come you on. still had Bolivar here. You had yes. Junior Jam. You had me, Sad. Yeah, Eleven. Yeah. Uh, who else did we have? We had Maverick. We had Maverick. Maverick Aldrick. Aldrick. Uh, Ronko was here. She was oh. six. Actually, Splashy was also hella hyped. That Krogunk was taking off people's names. Dude, I'm telling you. Spl Splashy? Yeah, Splashy, Splashy Syrup? Splashy. It was clean. Clean. Uh, oh, and Junior Jam. Did we say Junior Jam? Yeah, Junior Jam. Yeah, that yeah, Gengar junior looking jam. sick. Looking sick. Shackle. His, his Gengar is better than mine. I, I could give him that. Oh, yeah. Then who else do we have? We have Combuster. Go up record setup. Or all right. All right. And we, uh, I don't know if we can get a camera on this. Maybe. Maybe oh, not. Yeah. The rewards? I don't know. But yeah. Like, I, I would hope so. You know, yeah. they're giving out the rewards. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Lemon almost top eight it, too. Yes. Lemon almost top eight it. That would have been crazy. Yeah. I think we recorded like 50 matches, too. So we have a lot. Because I have like 30 on my computer. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what's going on? Wait, They're wait. meddling. Wait, I, I don't know. Roxo looked like he was about to do, like, hey, yo, like, give me a money match. Oh, the hug? I the hug? So. Oh, was he asking for the hug? The, uh -huh. the, 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 hey, I know I beat you in grand finals and before grand finals, winter finals. I, oh, I, yeah. I just, I did hella disrespectful stuff. But, uh, yeah. That's, I'll hug that, it out. I'll hug it out. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that, this was a good turn. I was so glad to be back to offline. Dude, me, oh my god. Offline poking is amazing. I'm about to say, who playing over there? Yeah, who? actually. Oh, no. Yo, Ayo! Is the, is the setup possessed? Someone got their joy cons on? Ayo, is the setup possessed? Uh, is it money match night? Are we looking like a money match night? Because, I, I mean, Jukum just, Jukum does now have money, you know, from true. winning, so. He got metal too. Uh, 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 wait, he got melty blood money. No, he got no, he got metal. Oh, yeah, metal. Oh, oh, metal. Oh, oh. <laughs> I said we got top three this time. Because mm. man, a, it sucks. Like there's so many good people here, and only three people get a reward. I mean, and it, it's crazy that just the very fact that like those three people, but like, look at the talent here. Yeah. It, look at the talent. These are names just going across like other tournaments, going for the championships, uh, qualifiers from across the world. It's like. You're 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 literally getting a a major experience if you're playing Vulcan. Yeah, I feel literally. like I told I thought this is double a few other places. I feel like this tournament should have a top sixteen cut because that's how many good players were here. <laughs> like, there was like enough for definitely two and then some on top eight. 
like two top eights and then maybe another one. Because how like, good players were here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what? You know what I'm really going to be glad for? What? When, you know, some of the matches that were recorded in the back go out to you guys at home. Some of the matches that were like... Uh, uh, Kamal versus Shadowcat. Winter's well, side was Winter's, hype. Yes. Um, Lemon versus Tapu. Yes, Lemon versus Tapu. Sunny versus... Lemon. 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 Yeah. A Balmar versus Drika was also very good. Dude, you're remembering all these matches. Yeah, dude, I'm having a hard time remembering. It's I got that TO, you know. I got all the matches down my the, the, head. Yeah, yeah. It comes with the territory. Yeah. comes with the territory. Are we about to do a poking picture here? I I'll, think so. I hope you don't leave out the commentators. Okay, but I got to say real quick. Got shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. The, the head the the head guy running the stream is just like, hey y'all, like, I've, you know how many pictures I've been left out. Yeah. <laughs> right, honestly, to Matchstick for streaming us. I really yes, appreciate yes. it. Yes, yes. Very much appreciate Matchstick. Thank you. And for and that's your comment. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. Give it up the thumbs up. There, there he goes. Yeah. Hey, yo, get my man in the pictures, bro. It, if it wasn't for him, then we wouldn't be, you know, knowing how to run this. I mean, I know Sorry, how to run this. Sorry, I a swore team. like twice on stream. That's my bad, you know. I keep a PG. I got too hype. I was like, oh my God. See, that's dog. crazy, though, because technically, technically, yeah. I'm, I'm going to just tell you guys this because I don't know how many guys know this. Oh, tell me. When it comes to commentary, mm -hmm. this is my third time doing commentary. Damn. Ever. And I mean, yes, ever. And guess what? All of those have been up to top eight and grand finals. I think it's because you got the personality. You got that night. You're like you're easy to talk to. You're fun to be around. You know, you got the charisma. You got ten out of ten charisma check. Oh please, stop! 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 stop. <laughs> but I definitely do my best, especially for you guys. All I try that? to bring all the hype. All right, swipe, swipe right up. already. All right, I got you. <laughs> all right, I got, I got a sweet. I got two. I got king size bed, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my, wait, I was about to say, hold up. I was about to say, hold up. Did you, how did you know I had a king size bed? Because <laughs> I've been over. <laughs> you, just, you just look outside your window, and then you'll notice. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, I don't know. I think slow, slow flow is too hot for you, bro. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. You got to have gills to be down there. Just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, but, all right, but hold on. Let, let me see what's going on down in chat. Oh, clip that? Oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Antwerp, get on Skype. Yeah, Antwerp, right. pick up the phone. Hey, yo, but let me see some, let me see some poking love. Like, get, sh sh show me, show me the poking emotes. Uh, let, me, let me see some dark cry, every, everything emotes. Shout out to Chats for hanging out all day. Yeah, you know, of It's course, been a of long course. stream it's, of top eights. Oh, my gosh. It's been, it's been a long day in general. It's, they, it's midnight. I'm going to tell you all right now, they, yeah. got, they had me walking from in here to over the big, big main hall. Oh, my goodness. I was, I was getting my work. I was getting my steps in. If it, I check my phone right now for my automatic steps, I was getting my steps in. Dude, I'm just sad that tomorrow is after party and I have to go home soon. I, I want to stay, you know. I'm staying till Monday. I'm making sure I enjoy my weekend, and I completely did. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know. Should I? No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do it. it. Do All, right. It. All right, guys, listen, especially while I still have time. So, Shadowcat, right? Shadowcat, mm -hmm. listen to this. During uh, uh, NEC, right? Shadowcat? Mm -hmm. Uh, we were all talking about how we wanted to do a, uh, a Mario Party like yeah. stream, right, and everything like that. But Oreo and uh, 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 and Shadowcat agreed that they were going to play Melty Blood. Ooh. And once Shadowcat heard that we were going to play Mario Party, this is Shadowcat. But Oreo. <laughs> Melty. <laughs> oh, so that's where that cheer came from. I was like wondering why that happened. And the best part about it is that I made a setup for everybody to just do it on reaction. That when I said, but Oreo, Melty, it was the funniest thing ever. That made my weekend yeah. 100%. Dude, double, no one told Double, so Double was like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, he had no clue what was happening. It was so good. And Silver Dude knowing Melty. Was that on your phone stream? Uh, yeah, no, wait, no, 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 I didn't stream it, but I uh, record it, I will put oh, it on Twitter yeah. for you guys. And just so you know, it's going to be my new stream alert. Oh, it, it has yes. to be. I can't, I can't. Every time, every time someone, fo like, follows me on my stream, it's going to be, but Oreo, Melty. Yeah, that's a good alert right there. <laughs> I, I, it's too good. It's dude, too there good. There have been a, good, a lot of good sound clips this tournament, I feel like. Dude, I just I just think that overall, like you know, the enjoyment of everybody here just like makes the stream so so good. Oh yeah. Well, 
I don't know if there's even any more top eights tonight. I think we were the last uh, yeah, one, Yeah, I think, right? yeah, you know, sa saving the best. Oh. But Jin, what are you, poking? <laughs> uh. Is that what you guys going to do for me? But Jin, poking. <laughs> but it's definitely poking, baby. Uh, I do believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure we were just the finale. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll accept that. I, c I can accept saving the best for I last. I have to get dinner now. It I'm is hungry midnight. Too. I'm about to order a pizza back for the hotel room. Oh, definitely. Because I have because everything closes around like here at like nine or ten. Yes. Like, what the hell? It's not like Florida for me. It's, it's everything. Everything is just like uh, like oh, if it's one p.m., it's done. Yeah. It's done. Like everything in my area in Cali closes at like, midnight, and we have like the overnight kitchens. So like there's always something. Oh but God. Here, like, no food. Uh, oh, you want to interview? Come in here. Come what? Here. what? Come here. You want to interview? Yeah, Can we do an interview? Okay. Come here, come here. Oh, you're going to do the video? All right, all right, all right. I guess we're going to do a quick interview. Why not? Pass the time. I did not. I'm, I'm forcibly doing this. Okay, hello. <laughs> all right, forcibly. Oh, hold on. Wait, you put on the headphones. You didn't have to put them on. All right, so in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and do a quick interview with Jukum, your Frosty Fostings champion for Poketon DX. Now, let's go ahead and ask a few questions. For one, let's start off with the easy one. Where has the idea of Cascoon for you, like the enjoyment, where is that coming from? Uh... So sometimes, because I'm a loser, I read Bulbapedia Pokedex pages. And one of them was talking about how Cascoon always remembers the pain it endures. And then when it evolves, it seeks them out. What? So I just thought, just give it this thing a, a knife to defend itself. I think it'd be funny. That's literally a thing that happens in the Pokedex. And I'm like, dang, that's metal. Let's give it a knife. And then it just became a meme. It's also been a full year since that I've done that tweet where I pointed it out, and it didn't feel like a year. And I just feel old. He feels old. So does that mean that's what you were thinking when you done, when you got two perfects on Roxo again? Yes, it was Cascoon telling me what to do because he, he's a professional murderer. I told you. So he knows I exactly what to you. do. I told you. I told you to get that Cascoon out of there. It was coaching. It's coaching. Yeah. Cas I can't believe Cascoon won Frosty Faustings 2022. It's just that he's still different. The, 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 the brains behind the man, guys. You heard it here first. All right, but let's go ahead and move on for a second. All right, so. Going into this tournament, was there anyone that you were possibly fearing of or just afraid of going against? Pretty much any of the usual top players you would see, like... Which was, like, literally... Everyone, this was a stacked event. Like, the pools were super stacked. Basically, any, everyone's a killer. How do you feel about playing some Duel around one? Uh, so, playing who? Did you play some Duel around no, one? No, I did not play Sundula. Play oh, I was about to say, was that a joke? <laughs> no. No, Sundula was in the opposite pool of me. Who played some Duel around one? Uh, I don't remember, but it wasn't me. But I, I basically, the most people I was usually scared about were probably uh, usual tech. Uh, tech was probably the one I was scared about the most. Uh, Dude, I'm telling you. All right, all right, hold on. All right, moving on to tech. How do you feel about Scizor currently in the game? I will be the, not the first to admit that I think his tools can be toxic. <laughs> but... Tech is a nice guy, and he uses those toxic moves to the best, and I can only respect him for it. I can hate it, but if help any, me out here. Hold <laughs> on. Let me, let, me, let me go ahead, and I, I don't know if you guys have seen, you know, that translator that usually, ch like, all right, I'm going to translate what you can just said. Scizor. Dumb. Actually, there you go. Scizor dumb. But you know what? He does, Tech does still do some cool stuff. Dude, when like, he's okay. still, you know, doing the main thing of, you know, CADC, CADC, CADC. Like, that's what you got to do with the character. And, like, well, I can only respect him for doing it. I just hate it. And then not to mention, behind the man is a crazy person who will actually tech nearly every grab possible. And yes. I can't do it. I can't. Which is why when we fought, I didn't gr try to grab him <laughs> once. I'm fairly certain. <laughs> like, it's actually optimal for me to play Empoleon because you rarely grab with him to begin with. Oh, oh, I, I, <laughs> he, so he went Empoleon just for the fact that, all right, I won't have the intention or the actual, like, desire to grab because I know he's just going to tech it regardless. And oh, steel my wing. goodness. Steel wing. Steel wing, too? All right, that's good. Yeah. Do you have something to say? How did you feel watching some of the other sets? What were you thinking? For wait, sorry, for what? How did you feel about Shadow Cat? Because he was like the one who won last year or 2020, right? Uh. What about like Shadow Cat versus Eclipse? What happened? Shadow Cat versus Eclipse? Uh. Oh, not how I felt about yeah, fighting Shadow Cat. What do you think went wrong? I think Eclipse. Okay, so G Galay told me that like his one practice partner was him. So uh, it's just like, oh, he fights Brakeson. So I guess he has some like. He's ready for it a bit, so I f if that felt like it factored in a bit. And then when he d went Dark Cry, I couldn't tell what was going to happen, honestly. But you guys felt like he was on a tear today. We fought early on, and I kind of uh, did dumb Empoleon stuff against him uh, in 
totally didn't Dragon Knight his uh, Nine Tails call. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So I would say last question. This is going to be the last question of the night. So that way they go ahead and pack up. Yeah. Last question. For the for I believe it was when he came back from Losers Finals, Roxo. He got the game one, and in between that game, he was getting the constant running cancel six Y, running cancel six Y. Did you feel like that that was because of your shenanigans from Winners Finals, or you think that was because he just had the read on you? Oh, I felt that was totally fair and justified considering what I did to him in uh, Winners Finals. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I kept a cool head about it, so I still won. That's all I can really, like, that's I will respect, sense, yeah. I will respect when someone does something to me that's very, very, like, meany or whatever. But if it works, it works. And what I did, it worked. So I will say that it's, like, the first time I've done a taunt to get bodied in any set, and I didn't get bodied for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, every time, ranked, when I'm streaming, I'm like, hey, guys, watch this, and I immediately just die. Oh, also, this is not a question, but I would say I, I, I just want you to give the confirmation because I, I definitely told everybody this. Oh. When you have practically close to full HP or maybe even over 70 HP, you will do something completely out of the ordinary just to, just to discern your opponent of, like, crazy stuff. I don't really pay attention to the HP, but that's usually when I do it. It's probably, like, I, like... I don't think about it, but like I think like think that's about it, you know, subconscious. Yeah. That's the way to put it. So I'm just like I can get away with it, I guess. <laughs> so I guess you're yeah, kind of right, but I don't really think about it. Sometimes I'll go for it when I'm low HP, but then I regret it immediately <laughs> <laughs> if it fails. Yeah. But yeah, all around, I'm glad that most of it worked on Roxo because I wanted to bring you know the hypeness of Pokémon up even more and be like, oh, this is a cool game because it's a very cool game. You guys it should is. buy Pokémon. You guys should There's buy a Pokemon. demo out. Did you guys know that? There's a demo. Did you get it. It's Pokemon. You baby. should also like, comment, and subscribe to my. <laughs> <laughs> should I show? Okay. You go to ju Go to youtube.com slash jukemfgc for prime Pokemon content and other stuff. Uh, I do lots of discussion stuff. Jim BSR and Sage. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you need to shorten your name. <laughs> Jim, Jim, what, Jim BSR and Sage? Jim BSR and Sage? Can you say that three times fast? No, I cannot. I'm not even going to M2. Do you want to? I can't do it. I have a list. I'm already out. Do it with a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm already out. He's like, I'm, I'm at a disadvantage. <laughs> it's a one-two matchup. I can't do it. The one-two matchup. One, two. Wait, out of how many? It's just like E-Honda, yeah. 10, 10 zero matchup, mythical matchup. Can't do it. Exactly. You lost it before you even began. All right. Most of the crowd has dispersed. Our stream guy is kind of getting questioned, exactly. talked to, exactly. and all around. I mean, we're, we're taking over the stream at this point. Ooh, ask me more questions <laughs> if you want. <laughs> All right, here, 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 try to give I us a question. I love being asked questions. I'll just try say to that give first us a question. There you go, something different. Give us a question. Give us a question. Uh, how did you feel commentating together? Because you're very loud and you, you know, you can stutter a little bit. So I was actually kind of curious about the dynamic. I'll have to go back and watch the VODs, but how did you feel about it? I felt like it, I think it went pretty well. I'm, I'm mostly a person. I feel like I have just meld well with anyone that I could possibly be commentating with, even though if it's still my third time commentating at all, and it's still all top eights or grand finals. It's honestly felt like you've commentated longer. <laughs> God, I can literally count how many times I've commentated in a major on, my, on this hand, I think what on this one. Is that me and Jin both stream pretty frequently, and I've also gotten a lot more practice over the last few years. I've been commenting a lot of online events, so I got used to connecting with more people on the fly. I think what helped with me too, we're also just willing to make jokes a lot on commentary. Yeah. I, I feel like some commentators get like really almost stale. Stale. Because well, they yeah. get too focused on being business, right? And like trying to break down every single thing. Well, you should be like be willing to do both, right? Break it down, but also just be willing to mess around. I can also be funny while also like. Yeah. You know, telling people, like, detailed thoughts of, like, what's probably going on in players' heads and giving descriptions of why they probably did it and mm -hmm. what they probably should do or something like that. You know, yeah. it's it's like being able to be business, be funny, and also... I'll, I've been told that, like, for my commentary, uh, which is, like, somewhat of a staple from the three times that I've done commentary, is that I can actually just make a whole bunch of references. And then <laughs> during NEC, when I looked at it back, I'm like, oh, wow, I made so many references. What made me think of that? I and mean, I'm like... <laughs> Am I just really just that, like, flowing into commentary? Am I just that good? <laughs> I not carry, like, the game knowledge because I haven't been around as long. I, but I feel like I could cover at least with, like, the player habits because I noticed, like, you stopped doing, like, the 8A, like, drill pack a lot. And so I just picked up your corner pack for a while with, like, the fade backs and, like, ice beam and aqua jet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I think game five was I finally used Ice Beam. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many times where you just instantly got out of the corner while, like, using Steel Wind. <laughs> uh, I will say, during all those shenanigans, I had no idea what was going to happen. It was just fun land during then. I'm like, oh, cool, I'm being friendly, except it's actually a grand finals match. It so, was very funny. So, 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 fun first. Grand finals thoughts later. <laughs> that's why. That's how I like to think of it. If you're having fun, then you might not be as nervous. That makes sense. Which is also why I do randomly stupid stuff. So, <laughs> you know, it kind of works out, and then it brings the hype. See, it all it all comes full circle. I don't think about this, but it just happens. That's why I'm a genius, but I don't know it. All right. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm hungry. I'm kind of. I kind of want our our stream guy to actually like you know. Let's do a quick wrap up. Can I go get some food, Jukum? I do. Here, you, yeah, you should wrap it up. Thank yeah, you we'll, all we'll for watching. Pokin's great. And thank you guys for interviewing. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for being on. Alright, guys. It's been fun. Here at Frosty Frostings. We are we were definitely glad to be here and honestly, we're gonna come back. I don't, oh. I don't care. I'll, I'll make an effort to make sure we come back. Because, I mean, oh, yeah. of course we're going to come back. As we're long as I am here, Pokin will always have a place. I have to put on that stream real quick. Flex, little flex, little flex. And if, they, and if they're here, I'm here. Because okay. I honestly love the snow, and this place is amazing. Yeah, I love I love how cold it is here. I enjoy the snow a lot. I actually have been trying to get some of the Pokin to go on a snowboard trip with me. Because, like, Zai, I think Brett has gone. I try to get Zai, Jiggler, and everyone to go snowboarding with me so bad. I love snowboarding, Same. and I only so did it fun. once. I only did it once. Dude, I grew up, like, in Massachusetts, so I used to snowboard a lot when I was a kid. Then I moved to Arizona and, like, Georgia, which had, like, no snow at all, and it sucked. So, like, I tried to go back to, like, either, like, maybe somewhere, like, I don't know, up, super up north, just so I could snow one time, like Colorado or something, because mm. I miss it. All right. Let's go ahead and end it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely going to, like, you know, point down the stream guy, because... This stomach needs food and before Sick. everything just closes down. I ate two pizzas from the concession stand. That's not enough. And I definitely need to go get something. I don't think we're going to order like DoorDash a pizza or something. Excuse me, sir. Okay. We would like to say goodbye to the people. All right. And yes. Oh thank my you, God. Matchstick, for hosting us. Thank you, Frosty, for hosting us. And Follow thank Jean you on Twitter. To you out there, viewers, going to Pokin. And it's Pokin, baby. Thank you for stopping yeah. by. I'm Jen. I'm Icy, and that was Mastic over there. Follow him on Twitter. He does online events. He's great. You can see his hand. He yeah. can't. He, yeah, he can't come that far because his head is connected to headphones. Right. But thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out all the other uh, games that are gonna be played tomorrow for Sundays and, and after party. After party. See you guys next Frosty.